perineum the perineum boundary sir if you observe this uh, skull uh, sorry perineum anteriorly you have the lower part of pubic symphysis posteriorly this is the coccyx and on either side you have the ischial tuberosities and laterally is conjoint ischial pubic ramen and here will be the sacro tuberous ligament will be there so same way if you identify this one anteriorly this is the pubic symphysis and here lies the coccyx here and on either side you have the ischial tuberosities and antero laterally if you observe as i told these are the two ischial pubic ramen conjoint ischial pubic and these are the ischial pubic ramen ischial tuberosities and posteriorly if you observe this is a sacro tuberous ligament and the muscle you are observing here is the gluteus maximus taking origin from the sacro tuberous ligament and these are the boundaries of the perineum and this perineum is further divided into two triangles by an imaginary horizontal line joining the two ischial tuberosities if you draw a horizontal line like this joining the two ischial tuberosities anterior to this line is the erogenital triangle and behind this is called as the anal triangle so if you go to the anal triangle these are the orifices here we have the anal orifice is there on either side of the anal orifice we see the ischiorectal fossa and this is the ischiorectal fossa the boundaries of the ischiorectal fossa are medially we have the axon fascia covering the axonal anal sphincter and that is vertically placed and sloping muscle is there that is called as the levator anae that is covered by the inferior fascia of the levator anae that is called as the fascia covering the levator anae and then if you come down this is the fascia covering the axonal anal sphincter so this forms the medial boundary and the lateral boundary is this is the obturator internus muscle if you observe here this is the obturator foramen which is covered by the obturator internus muscle and that obturator internus muscle is covered by the fascia covering the obturator internus that forms the lateral boundary here so fascia covering the obturator internus on the lateral side and medial side fascia covering the levator anae and the fascia covering the axonal anal sphincter and it's a wedge shaped fossa so it has a base so base is formed by the skin superficial fascia and the deep fascia you have and the deep fascia we we say that from the two ischial tuberosities or between the uh, pudendal canals from starting from the pudendal canal to the axonal anal sphincter we have a line called as the perianal fascia so this perianal fascia further divides the fossa into anteriorly the fossa is called as the perianal fossa and posteriorly axial fossa is called as the ischiorectal fossa and it has an apex also on the posterior aspect that apex is formed by the joining of the two fascias like the fascia covering the obturator internus and the fascia covering the levator anae the two fascias join together to form the apex and it has uh, if you observe this one this is further the fascias are further covered by the lunate fascia also so the lunate fascia is also seen covering that one so apex of the lunate fascia is called as the tegmental space we say that so this is totally is the ischiorectal fossa and the main content here is that this is the inferior rectal nerves and vessels crossing from lateral to medial side as the name itself indicates that it is uh, we supplies the rectum so this is a inferior rectal nerves and vessels which supplies the rectum that they are arising from the pudendal nerve and the internal pudendal artery you know that pudendal nerve and internal pudendal artery they arise from the greater sciatic foramen this one this is the ischial spine and this is the lesser sciatic foramen from the greater sciatic foramen pudendal nerve and internal pudendal artery comes out and again it they go into the uh lesser sciatic foramen and it comes into the perineum so they come as the lateral boundary for the ischiorectal fossa here if you observe these are the ischiorectal uh, ischial tuberosities here lies the pudendal nerve so if you observe here i have this are the structures this is the ischial spine and these are the pudendal nerves and vessels these two are the pudendal nerves and vessels and if you trace it further forwards it comes to the lateral part of the ischiorectal fossa the pudendal nerve and internal pudendal artery comes here here gives rise to the inferior rectal nerves and vessels in the fossa so inferior rectal nerve and vessels are the contents of the ischiorectal fossa here and ischiorectal fossa has two uh, recesses anterior recess that goes towards the erogenital diaphragm uh, not to the erogenital diaphragm erogenital triangle that is between the pelvic diaphragm and the erogenital diaphragm this is called where my finger has passed this is the anterior recess same way we have posterior recess also that is behind the sacro tuberous ligament so these are the recesses present in this uh, ischiorectal fossa one more recess is called as a uh, horseshoe shaped recess that one which passes from if you pass a finger from here it goes to the other side 
सो दिस इज अबाउट द रिसोर्सेस ऑफ द इश्कोरेक्टल फोसा